guys, welcome back to another video, guys. Now it has been a good week and a half. It's been a good ten days since we done a video. I apologise, it's not like me. Normally I am doing uh, weekly videos at least. Normally I had two videos up a week. But I've been super busy this week. Um, I've been away and I've just taken a bit of time for myself. And the video I had planned, which was a unboxing of the new Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness 4K, got delivered to me like a week late. So it was way past its due date. So I thought, well, what's the point of doing an unboxing now? Everyone's got it. Um, so yeah, that, that video didn't happen. I was going to report on the San Diego Comic-Con because there was some incredible Marvel news, some fantastic DC, Walking Dead, um, House of Dragon news that dropped. But um, I covered all that on my podcast this week with my good friend Ryan. If you want to listen to it, check it out. Off to the movies. Uh, link in the description. So I figured, well, I don't want to talk about that. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? I need to do a video. I need to do a video. I've been away for nearly two weeks. This is crazy. I realise I haven't done a video on my Arrow video collection for a while. And I picked up a... I've got a few more box sets, a few more Blu-rays since the last updated Arrow video collection video. Um, sound video a lot here. <laughs> and I just took a trip down to Bournemouth, which some of you might know, because you might have seen me pop up in the wonderful Jamie Powell's... Um, one of his latest videos. Um, if you haven't checked out Jamie Powell, make sure you go do it. He's got a fantastic channel. And he's living not too far from Bournemouth. Um, and um, I don't know if he's actually in Bournemouth. I might be... I'm not sure. Uh, but anyway. Um, but <laughs> he's an absolutely lovely guy. I met up with him and his lovely wife, um, Katie Powell, who's also fantastic. And I did pick up one item with them, which is an Arrow Video box set. So we will be getting to that one a little bit later in the video. But I'm going to go over the regular Blu-rays first. And then I'm going to go over the box sets. So let's get started. First two up, I actually have slips. So no hour of video don't keep their films in slips for very long. Uh, and both of them were kindly sent to me, actually. This one, I believe, was from Mr. Alex Pitt, Dinner in America. This was a quite a recent movie from 2020. And um, I really enjoyed this film. Just about a couple of messed up um, kids who get together, this boy and this girl, um, really, really not meant for each other. And it kind of shows how they slowly... Um, descend into chaos <laughs> with their with their lives around them and uh, of course the brilliant thing with our video is you get some reversible artwork which means i'm gonna have to open all these up but anyway with this one i actually got a book as well which is pretty cool because it's kind of rare with our video but yeah i thought this was actually a really good movie and um it's the inside and there's your reversible artwork. But um, yeah, no, it is. It's a it's a really, really good movie. I did have a good time with this one. Um, would definitely recommend. Um, in terms of newer films on the Arrow video label, um, one of the better ones for sure. So yeah, great movie there. Next up, we have my favourite Vin Diesel movie, Pitch Black. So yeah, not I'm not a huge Vin Diesel fan, I'm not gonna lie. He's actually I would actually say he's one of my least favourite actors going. Sorry if you're a fan. But I really like this movie, Pitch Black. This he would go on to continue playing his character in the Riddick films. Um I think I only got through the second one and I gave up. But I thought Pitch Black was a fantastic um movie. I thought this was really good. The tension was really good. I love the way it was shot. There were a couple of real surprising deaths in it. Um, really, really fantastic. And so I could get a book with this one. Maybe if you get the slip ones, maybe if you get these really early, you get books with them. Um, this one's quite thick as well. But yeah. And the reversible artwork is just the yellow cover. So I won't bother taking the disc off and showing you that one because it's just the slip cover. But um, yeah, this is this is actually a really good movie, from, surprisingly, from Mr. Vin Diesel. So um, yeah, would we'll definitely recommend this one if you haven't seen it. Then we're off the slips. Next up, we have The Hound of Baskerville, starring two of my favourite actors, Peter Cushing and Christopher Lee. Absolutely adore these two actors. Um, and of course, Sherlock Holmes' story. Fantastic. Love, love, love this movie. Um, you know, it, it's just so much fun. I mean, I know that at the end, the dog looks very dated. I mean, most of this movie looks dated, but I really quite like watching... 40s, 50s and 60s movies, it really just pulls me out um, and sticks me in an era, which obviously I, I, I grew up watching a lot of these older movies. And um, 
yeah, the dog, the dog looks particularly dated, but I, I kind of love the look of these older films. And as I say, Pete Cushing, Christopher Lee, two of my favourite actors. What a fantastic time. And let's continue that on with the Horror Express. Or just horror, not the horror. Um, again, great movie. Really enjoyed this one. Um, I thought the monster's look was maybe a little bit underwhelming at the end of the film. But, um, yeah, I, I'm, I much prefer the outside Arrow artwork. This is, it's kind of a mess. This is a lot better. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I really enjoyed this movie. This was really good fun. Except one I need to watch. I haven't watched this one yet. I picked it up really cheap, really cheap. Lots of people recommended it to me because I'm a huge fan of the original. I love the original. I think I gave it give it a five out of five on Letterboxd. Um, and that is Psycho 2. Um, so you haven't seen this one, of course, continuing on the story of Mr. Norman Bates. But the original Alfred Hitchcock movie is absolutely breathtaking. One of my favourite movies ever. So as far as this one goes, I know it's not Hitchcock. Um, Anthony Perkins directed this one. Um, but yeah, I... I, I you really need to get on this one and give it a watch. So I can't really say too much about it. But um, yeah, a lot of people tell me it's quite good, surprisingly. Next up, we have another one. Um, this one was sent to me as well. And um, apology, I, I, you know, I've been sent so many films now over the years. I, I feel really a bit bad. Maybe there's a note in here. Oh, there's not. Um, <laughs> I've forgotten who I, it actually was that sent me this one. But they sent me this because it was around the time I was exploring the Halloween films and the Friday the 13th and the Nightmare on Elm Streets and Chucky. You know, a good year ago now, I decided I need to watch all the films in all these franchises. <laughs> and um, someone sent me this and they said it's very similar to them. I think you'll like it. It's called The, the, the Burning. The Burning, yeah. And it's a guy, it's basically Friday the 13th. But I don't know, I kind of find the killer a bit more interesting. I find, I don't know, I find Jason a bit... Uh, Friday the 13th was my least favourite out of all those great horror, gore, slasher films. But um, I, I kind of found this guy a bit more interesting. Overall, I obviously prefer Jason. I've seen like 12 films with him in now or whatever. But um, I think as, as far as originality goes, I kind of like the Shears idea. It was a cool concept, cool idea for this slasher movie. And um, this one here comes with... Um, two discs so you got the the blu-ray and then you flip it over and it comes with the dvd as well so that's a nice little touch and then there is the original poster so yeah a legend of terror is no campfire story anymore there we go <laughs> and i remember enjoying this one to be fair it was a pretty good movie so there we go the burning Next up, another one I haven't watched yet. I remember um, where I got this from. This was very kindly sent to me when I won Mr. Horror in Todge, course of our little community, the king of horrors. Probably the king of uh, the Arrow video range as well. I know he loves his Arrow video films. Um, and he, uh, he sent me this when I won his contest. Still have yet to watch it. Um, Massacred Gun. Love the cover, but know absolutely nothing about this movie. So really don't have much to say on this one, I'm afraid. But um, nevertheless, I will get around to it eventually. So yeah, Massacre Gun. Next up, one of my favourites. I grabbed this right as it was going out of print. I, one of my close friends, Reese, who came to the latest Comic-Con with me, a video on my channel, me and him, he features in it for a little bit. Good friend, Reese. Um, he's a massive, huge fan of this movie. Um, I, he's got a poster of it in his room, and I've, he's told me his plan is to make a life-size killer clown one day. Um, so yeah. Killer Clowns from Outer Space, the Arrow video Blu-ray. Um, I'm really hoping they re-release this as a, in 4K um, in a box set, because I know they've been doing that lately with some, like uh, American Werewolf in London, uh, Tremors, Robocop. So um, I'm hoping this one gets the same sort of treatment, um, because I'd love to get a nice big box set for this movie, because I must admit, I do slightly adore this film as well now. Um, this one comes... With an advertisement, oh, and just it literally comes with a book of um advertising, so they got a bit greedy with this one. And um, but I love this movie, it's stupid but hilariously fun. I i i watch it all the time, I can't lie. I've watched, I watch this film at least like two, three times a year. Normally, 
good with a couple drinks. Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, really, really, really good movie. I just, it's become a bit of a cult classic. So yeah, I've even got a Killer Clowns pop vinyl up on my shelf. Next up, again, another one. I'd be happy if Arrow decided to do a 4K box set of this film, but I don't think they will because someone else has just put a 4K box set out of this movie. Um, but that is the thing. Maybe my favourite movie in the Arrow video range. It's between this and one other at the minute. Um, but yeah, Star Mr. Kurt Russell, of course, the remake. Um, uh, I've covered up my original Blu-ray, so I can't tell you the year. But I really like the original The Thing. And um, this one here is a remake. It's probably one of, the re one of those remakes which actually turns out to be better. It's John Carpenter, Kurt Russell. You know, you can't go wrong. It's a classic movie. I mean, there's not really loads I can say about it that hasn't already been said before because it is just a fantastic movie. Um, so, yeah. And here's another one I'd love to get a big 4K box set on because I love this movie. It's, it's mental, wacky, weird, and just brilliant all at the same time. There's Big Trouble in Little China, and I love this cover. Such a cool cover. Um, again, Mr. Kurt Russell and um, John Carpenter teaming up to bring you... Just just a, 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 a hilarious, classic 80s movie. The exploding head at the end is one of my favourite scenes ever. <laughs> it's just so good. So, yeah, big trouble in the China. I hear they're doing a remake. Please don't. Please, please, Hollywood, don't do it. <laughs> Next up, we have Time Bandits. Now, I'm not going to lie, I wasn't the biggest fan of this one. The next couple, actually, I've watched. And, you know, I, I thought Time Bandits was going to be a lot more up my street than it was. I thought it was very good, very clever at times. There were some interesting things about it. Again, love that cover. But, in all honesty, I found myself a little bit bored um, a couple times throughout the movie. But, nevertheless, it wasn't a bad film by any means. It was still a good time. And then we have Videodrome. Yeah, I got this one mainly because Debbie Harry is in it and um, i'm a big blondie fan so i thought oh that'd be cool to see debbie harry do some acting and um you know some very cool moments in this movie there's a lot of great aspects about it the idea of this movie the pre premise is fantastic but i just didn't think it was super well executed maybe it needs another watch um i'm not entirely sure but yeah i much prefer this inside arrow cover um i literally have the outside one on because for some reason they've put the uk age rating on this spine not this one. I don't like the age rating showing. So, um, yeah, I've um, gone with the original cover for some reason on this one. Next one up. Haven't watched this one um, yet, but I will. This is actually one of my first ones, weirdly. One of my first ones, and I still haven't watched it. Um, I mainly got it because it stars Tommy Lee Jones, Sting, and Sean Bean. And that is Stormy Monday. Really cool cover. This one here. Two discs again. Got the Blu-ray and a DVD. And then here is the background. So yeah, we'll definitely get around to watching that one at some point. Next up is Thief. Another one which I was a little bit underwhelmed with. I'd seen some people giving it really high marks over on Letterboxd and IMDb or whatever app you're using. Um, but yeah, I, I thought it was a good movie, definitely had a fun time with this, um, but again, just, just didn't love it, I thought it was, you know, I think I gave it three and a half on Letterboxd, and I was expecting it to be like a four, four and a half, um, so yeah, a little bit disappointed in that one as well. Okay, next one up is With Now and I, um, this was actually quite good, I did really enjoy this movie, starring Richard E. Grant and Paul McGann, two of my favourite British actors, Actually had the pleasure of meeting Paul McGann. He's a lovely guy. Um, but yeah, no, this is a really funny movie. It's classic kind of 80s British comedy. I think this is 80s. Uh, yeah, 1985 or 86. It's got two years on the back. Don't know. Um, but yeah, no, this is just really funny. It kind of sums up um, <laughs> how some British people are, I guess, going pub to pub. Um, but yeah, so it's 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 a good movie. I had a fun with it. Um, so yeah. With now and I, and um, that's a that's a good one, a little underrated one there I'd say. This is a great one. I know Mr. Jamie Powell is a big fan of this one. Matinee, um, it's it's this is kind of such a weird movie. There's so many like like there's two stories kind of going on. You know, 
there's the whole we're putting on a show and then there's the world's ending it's just two very opposite end uh plots going on that get tied together um starring john goodman and um yeah it's a really really fun movie and um yeah as you can see it's a bit wacky it's a bit of a wacky one um but yeah i, I actually really like this the original poster for this one um yeah so i think i'm guessing that's the original poster anyway um i should really flip it inside out because the the age range is actually on this side on this one so um yeah i don't know Anyway, next up, um, this one here I haven't watched yet, um, Animal Factory. I know literally nothing about this one. I believe this one was sent to me as well. And, um, yeah, Willem Dafoe, though, so, um, love a bit Willem Dafoe, so, um, yeah. We'll definitely crack on with this one soon. And this one has a book as well. Oh, yeah, this one has a book as well. That's a bit weird. Um, so, yeah, there we go. Next up, one of my favourites in the collection, Heathers. This was a huge surprise to me. I bought it because of Winona Ryder. Big fan of hers. I've seen her in a lot of stuff. She's fantastic. Um, so I picked this up. Um, it was one of my first. And um, I just randomly put it on one night. I was like, oh, I haven't watched Heathers yet. Let's give this a go. And um, wow, I was blown away. I thought it was fantastic. It was so fun and wacky. I love the story to it. Um, just, just classic 80s horror. Just the, the style of horror i really really love so um yeah i thought i just thought it's fantastic the chemistry between the two was really great and another one which really caught me off guard i was in hmv looking at arrow videos i saw this one pulled it out saw it had tom hanks's name on the cover because i've we had a picture of him um i've swapped the artwork around and um I was just like, I really like Tom Hanks. I'm going to give this one a go. And I watched it and really enjoyed it. And that is The Burbs. I'd honestly never heard of this before I'd seen it. And ever since I've seen it, I've, I've seen so many people talking about it again. This is like a childhood movie of mine. It's like, how did I, like, I not hear about this before? Um, <laughs> so this is the artwork that it was on the shelf, which is, of course, I saw Tom Hanks and was like, yeah, I'm going to give that a go. And um, I'm so pleased I did. It's a really, really great film. So much fun. Um, like I'm pretty sure a lot of the, the films I've spoken about so far, Killer Clowns, The Thing, Big Trouble, um, I'm sure people have heard about them. But the, the underrated ones, I'd say, are With Now and I, Heathers and The Burbs. If you haven't checked any of those three out, I really recommend it. 12 Monkeys. Um, yeah, again, this is another one I enjoy, but don't love as much as some people. Starring Mr. Bruce Willis. Yeah. But it's, it's a good movie, for sure. But definitely not going to knock it. Um, and I know in some people's eyes, it's considered a classic. Not one of my favourites in the range, but a good movie nonetheless. And then uh, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Of course, starring Mr. Johnny Depp, uh, Benedict Del Toro, and uh, Tobey Maguire also popped up in this one for a bit. And um, yeah, I... I wouldn't be surprised if they were all on drugs or, or excessive amounts of drinking making this. It's either that or their acting was just phenomenal in this movie because I really believed it. Um, <laughs> and I really quite like the original poster for it as well. I think I might even prefer it to that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, this is a pretty fun movie. We have Dark Blue star Mr. Kurt Russell. This film was okay. I thought the final act was really good, where there was a bit of a shocking twist. But the first two acts were kind of just, yeah, I've seen all of this before. It is what it is. Um, but nevertheless, it's okay. It's a fine movie. Then we have one I haven't watched, but I really want to because I believe it's an A24 film. Yeah, I, funny enough, I've come to watch this film about four times, but just because I, I'm pretty sure it's a foreign film. Um, it's just been one of those nights where I'm like, oh, I can't be able to sit down and read, so I'm just going to whack another movie on. But um, I really do want to get around to watching this one, so um, Climax. I've heard really good things about this movie. As I say, A24 as well. Mm, they're mostly good. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to watching this. Um, so yeah, there's Climax. And the final film I have to show that is not in a box set. Is it Old Boy? This was great. This film absolutely blew me away. Um, and again, with this one, you get a big, big old book. Really big book. 
Probably the biggest book yet. Alright. Loads in there. Um, yeah, just, just a fantastic movie. The story was so great. The lead actor was brilliant um, in this movie as well, I want to say. So, yeah. There we go. Right, there's all the regular Blu-rays. Now let's have a look at the box sets. Um, so, starting off, first up. I'm not going to fall, I hope. Um, <laughs> first up is the Demanding Trilogy. Now, those of you who know me know I'm a big Godzilla fan. Um, I love King Kong. And another one we're going to talk about in literally a minute is Gamera. And I saw this box set come up free order. I'd honestly never heard of Demanding, so I had to pick it up. And yeah, I really enjoyed all three films. I think the first one was the best. I really liked three. Two was the weakest for me. But the box set is beautiful. It's really, really fantastic set. So this actually just comes off like so. And inside, you can see that you get, you get all three individual cases and a big book. So there we go. So you got movie one. Movie two. Movie three. And look at the size of that book. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic set. Um, yeah, you know, maybe the best looking set that I have to show today. There's only one contender for it, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, there we go. Right, that goes up there. Next up, we have Gamera. So this is the Shala era set. Still empty. I lent them to my friend Ryan, I swear to God, about a year ago, and he's only watched two of them. And I still have yet to get them back. So, Ryan, if you're watching, please hurry up and watch them, because I would like my blu rays back. Um, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I really enjoyed most of them in here. There are a couple silly ones. If I had the covers, I'd probably be able to point them out. I can't really identify the monsters' names with the monsters, because I've only watched them once. There was like a squid one I didn't like. But other than that, I did really enjoy most of them. Anyway, I'm going to leave that one there for a minute because while I show off the second set, which is, this was just fantastic. So this is the Hasey era set. And um, yeah, look what you can do with the box sets if you get them both. Look how cool this is. You can, you can pop them together. Oh, don't they look fantastic? I, I think that is just brilliant. I think it's beautiful, beautiful packaging there. But anyway, so that film, that set has eight films in, sorry. Um film has four in the Hasey era was a lot shorter but the four films in here were just spectacular um see whereas Godzilla I prefer the Showa era films to the Hasey era films um with Gamera I prefer the Hasey ones so um these are really really cool films I don't know what's my favorite between two and three but anyway let's take a quick look at them all um so here is Gamera Guardian of the Universe the first one and they do all have their background artwork inside. But um, I'm, I'm not going to show them all because we've got a few box sets to go over. I don't want the video to be too long. They do all have their artwork inside. Uh, Gamera 2, Attack of Legion. Fantastic movie. Absolutely fantastic. One of the best kaiju movies. Same for this one. Um, Revenge of Eris. Just, just incredible. I really had so much fun with 2 and 3. And then the final one, Gamera the Brave. I'm not sure if this one's really connected to the other two super well. It feels a bit loose. Um, but it's still a good movie. Next up, for those of you who follow me on Instagram, you know I got this sex. I done a I done a Blu-ray hunting Instagram video on over there. And um, that's right, I do Instagram Blu-ray hunting videos as well. And it's still up there. If you look at my highlighted stories, you can see me hunting for this one. And I still haven't watched it. <laughs> I just watched the Man With No Name trilogy. And I was like, I want more films like that. And I went out in search and bought the complete uh, Sartana uh, collection. So yeah, these are Italian films, I believe. Spaghetti Westerns. Um, yeah, so again, I haven't watched them yet. I rushed out to buy these and then didn't rush to watch them at all. Um, but I will get around to it eventually. So yeah, there is that. Next up, we have House. <laughs> These were recommended to me after I watched Gamera. I said I need some more fun things in the Arrow video range and some were recommended them to me. I really, really enjoyed the first three. I thought the fourth one was kind of bad, but I really enjoyed the first three. 
Um, this is a really fun little set if you're into just silly horrors. So we're going backwards again. Here's the fourth movie. Here's the third one, which I know people don't like the third one either, but I actually really enjoyed that. Two, the best one for me, Gramps, love him. Um, and here's the first one. And again, all reversible artwork on all of these box sets. Um, next up, I've got two sets, um, which I haven't watched. <laughs> and they're the last things I'll say I haven't watched. I have watched everything else we're going to talk about today. Um, a friend talked me into buying this and I just still haven't done it, watched them yet. Um, Hellraiser 1, 2 and 3. I hear they're very good. And I'm looking forward to checking them out, going backwards again. Um, so, yeah. And then we have the Ring Trilogy, which was very kindly sent to me. Ken, just apologies, I just haven't got around to watching them yet. Um, but yeah. So yeah, I hear these films are absolutely terrifying. So, um, okay, next up, uh, I said I said that the thing was arguably my favorite movie that would be tied with this one, and that is Battle Royale. This was like the best blind buy I've ever done. Yeah, that's right. I actually hadn't seen blind. Uh, I actually hadn't seen Battle Royale before I decided to go spend fifty five pounds on this mega four K set. Probably not a smart move on my part, but I got lucky because I love this movie. It might be my favourite foreign film. I think it's just brilliant. This set is wham, and it's one of the coolest things in my entire collection. I just, I just love, love it so much. Um, yeah. Anyway, so there's a lot to go over with this one. Um, so in here, I'm not going to pull everything out because there's a lot in here. You've got the Blu-ray with a book. You've got the director's cut with a poster. You have the second movie, not as good. <laughs> Requiem, I think it's called, yeah. And then you have the uh, special edition director's cut of the second movie. Then you have the soundtrack to the first movie, because it is a brilliant soundtrack. And then you've got playable top trumps in here. And finally, you get a big, thick book there with loads of information in. So, yeah, um... Yeah, easy one of the best purchases I've ever made for my collection, to be honest, um, which is quite amazing um, because it was a complete uh, blind buy, as I say. Um, but nevertheless, here we go. There is that. The J card always wants to fall off of these things. Um, right, next up. Next up, I'm going to be very controversial here. Here we go. This is where I'm going to get some dislikes um, because I know this is quite a beloved movie and I didn't really enjoy it. Donnie Darko, yeah. Me, my friend Ryan and Luke all watched this film together. We were trying to watch some classics none of us had seen. And um, yeah, none of us really vibed with this movie. Just, yeah, just one of those films didn't connect with. So um, yeah, there's that. Um, but it comes with comes with a lot still. It's a beautiful package. I've kept it for the collection. I've kept it because the packaging's awesome. Um, <laughs> um, in here you get a poster, two Blu-rays because they're, Theatrical cut, theatrical cut. Both the same cut. There's probably some difference, but I'm not entirely sure what. And we have this one. With postcards and direct cut, direct cut. I'm guessing it's a DVD behind, would be my guess. And a lovely big, thick book again. So, yeah, you know, it's a good set. I, you know, I do have intentions to go back to this film one day, watch it on my own. Um... But yeah, it's it's not a film I connected with very well, which is a real shame. But anyway, you know, there we are. There's Donnie Darko. Next up, we're moving on to the individual Blu-rays now. Apologies if you can hear my phone going off in the background. Uh, people don't know how to text these days in the modern world. Um, anyway, we're going on to individual, like one, well, actually Donnie Darko is one film in the set. But these ones all sort of match together and they look great. So first up is, this is just a regular Blu-ray. Um, but it is Robocop, which 
big shout out to Mr. Movie Worm, if he's watching, because I know this is one of his favourite movies. And um, yeah, and here you've got your Blu-ray. Um, I'm not going to go into the artwork because we've got a lot to go over still. Poster. And again, a lovely big thick book. Yeah. And actually you get some art cards inside the Blu-ray packaging. So you really, you really get a lot with these ones. And again, you know, I, I, the more of these I get, ones in this kind of packaging, um, eventually I'll just start doing separate videos on them so I can go over the packaging in detail. Then we have an American Werewolf in London. This is the 4K one, so this is quite new. Um, very, very cool. So take these out. First up, you've got the 4K with art cards inside. Uh, poster and big book and um, yeah a fantastic movie um, really really love this film then we have the film I bought when I was in Bournemouth meeting up with Jamie Powell we have Candyman I did have the Blu-ray of this, but um, I love this movie. I had to get the box set. So, um, yeah, here it is, the 4K. So, first up, here it is. Here's the 4K with all of the um, discs and art cards inside. Again, a poster and a book. Although I found the book a bit disappointing. This one, there's not loads of information about the movie. It is instead just a bit of it's some storyboards from the movie the whole way through so yeah for the book was a little bit disappointing now i'm not gonna lie but um still beautiful packaging and fantastic movie absolutely fantastic movie so um yeah very 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 happy to own that one then a film i grew up on had to buy this after the thing and um uh, Battle Royale this is my favourite, I think. <laughs> Tremors, I love this movie. I grew up on it. Kevin Bacon, you know, just, just incredible. Um, and beautiful artwork as well. Beautiful artwork. So, 4K. I think this one here as well comes with, yeah, it comes with loads of bonus stuff. And bonus disc. And, um, yeah, again, so you get all your art cards in there. This one comes with two posters. You get a little one, which I'll open up quickly because it's only small. You get a little, and um, then you get you get your normal wham one, big one, and the book. So yeah, fantastic. Um, one of my favourites there. So um, yeah, very very cool. Then we have, I bought this in preparation for when the new Dune movie come out, which was really good. I decided I was going to watch the original David Lynch Dune, so I bought this when it come out, and this film was boring as hell. I'm sorry if there's any fans of this movie, but I thought it was bad. But anyway, I've got it in the collection now, I'm going to keep it because it looks great with all my other box sets. Um, but I love the cover, the cover's great. So, the 4K, again I think this one comes with bonus stuff. Yeah, so you got two discs there poster and book so yeah there we go and there's only one more set left now guys this video has turned out a lot longer than i thought it would um and the last set is it's not a 4k this one it is a regular blu-ray but i really like this movie true romance really really good movie so yeah let's have a look at this one See, back in the clear case. Poster. And your book. And there we go. That's that's the collection of Arrow Video Blu-rays and 4Ks. I'm incredibly lucky to have all this stuff. I'm truly grateful for it all. And it's, it's a collection I keep building upon. And I, I love the Arrow Video range. I think it's my favourite of all the collectible ones. So anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed as always. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video, leave a message. And as always, I'll see you next time for another video. Bye bye.